Huge clouds of smoke rising in the skies over southern Beirut. Israel carrying out several large airstrikes on Beirut's southern suburbs on Saturday. The attacks targeting Dahia, a Hezbollah stronghold. The IDF issuing evacuation orders to residents in the heavily populated area. Those strikes coming after dozens of rockets and drones were launched from Lebanon into Israeli territory. One drone striking a residential area in Haifa. One other drone hit a structure in the Mediterranean coastal town of Caesarea. A spokesman for the Prime Minister's office confirmed Benjamin Netanyahu's home was the target of that drone. Neither Netanyahu nor his wife were home at the time, and there were no reported casualties. Netanyahu saying, The attempt by Iran's proxy Hezbollah to assassinate me and my wife today was a grave mistake. Israel's war with Hezbollah, which is an ally of Hamas and both backed by Iran, continues to escalate. The Israeli military said around 180 projectiles were fired from Lebanon into Israel. This latest violence comes just days after the Israeli military killed the mastermind of the October 7th terror attack, Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar. Videos show the moment an Israeli tank fired on the building where he was sheltering. This Israeli military drone capturing Sinwar's final moments alive. His face covered, his hand badly wounded by gunfire. Sinwar throwing a stick at the drone. An autopsy revealing he was killed by a gunshot wound to the head. Officials saying Sinwar was close to the tunnel where the bodies of the six hostages, including Hirsch Goldberg Polin, were killed. Hamas vowing to keep fighting and not to release the 97 hostages, including seven Americans, still inside Gaza until Israel withdraws from the area. Time for the sword and bring these hostages home. President Biden has called the killing of Sinwar an opportunity to try and get a ceasefire both in Lebanon and Gaza. Tom Sufi Barrage, ABC News, Tel Aviv. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.